My name is Eric, and this is Ride or Dive. All right, so here we are at Hermit Springs this weekend. We got Chaos Divers with us. Uh, not really a big weekend, nothing special happened, did it? I don't think so. Jacob, was there anything special about this weekend? Nope, nope, nothing special. Uh, although, uh, somebody got certified that I didn't even know about. Who's so. that? Lindsay. Somebody keep a secret from you, Jacob? Yeah, they did. So we, we kept a pretty good secret from Jacob. Lindsay went and got certified. You can check out the live stream and see Jacob actually being speechless. <laughs> then, nothing. There we go. Then, uh, the rest of this video, you're going to see Lindsay's first dives as a certified diver.
challenging. We just finished our dives for the weekend. We did four dives in total. Uh, so eight dives all together. Eight dives all together now. So in two days. Uh, in two days? With, Pretty good. Or three. What I think is crazy is one, the first dive we did with Lindsay, she did absolutely phenomenal. But compared to that last dive, that last dive you finally looked a little relaxed. You were much more comfortable. Uh, what what do you like about those dives this weekend? What was the best part? Surprising Jacob. <laughs> um, I think just getting more comfortable each time and being able to figure out what I need to tell you guys so you guys can help me be more comfortable because at the end of the day, like I'm doing this on YouTube. So, you know, just that communication and figuring out what I need to help you guys help me. So. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, if you think it's difficult to communicate with your wife like in, in the house and in the kitchen, try doing it underwater. It's even worse. <laughs> yeah, both of you struggle with that. <laughs> um, I thought you, you did awesome. Today, this last dive was a lot of fun. We were just kind of messing around, but feeding the fish was really cool. Seeing the catfish come up to Jacob's face. That's a big catfish. <laughs> yeah, <it> was. <laughs> that was pretty neat. I thought he was going to bite my nose. I was waiting for it. <laughs> and then Lindsay led us on a, a wall dive, which is completely different than what you normally do in training. In training, there's a lot of ropes going from attraction to attraction. So on the wall dive, we were just kind of following along the wall. Uh, no ropes, just black abyss underneath us. A little dark blue. Yeah. But uh, Lindsay did awesome just leading that dive, leading us along the wall dive. We went, went all the way out. We saw, what, like six paddlefish? These oh, things are big. They're as long as I am. Yeah, there's there's definitely some big ones, and they were feeding, so she got to see the mouths wide open. Yeah. If you haven't seen a mouth wide open on a spoonbill, it's kind of uh, an eerie feeling when it comes right at you. Uh, but uh, other than that, I think you did a really good job. Thanks. I think uh, we had a fun weekend, and I can't wait to go diving with you some more. So, if you guys want to get certified as a diver, I do suggest going to your local dive shop if you don't have a local dive shop check out mermet springs and i'd even travel for mermet springs so a lot of people do like they've got well the rv's here but they have camping all over there's people who come here for the weekend a lot of dive shops dive groups a lot of people travel to come here it's i know absolutely worth it i know within at least four miles or four hours drive in any direction people come here because this is by far the best facility to dive in they, best attraction, best staff. And say their instructors are way above par, and Glenn's customer service is out of this world. If you need something or if you have something and it it doesn't work, done. You have you have a new one who takes care of it right away for you. So customer service and the instructors are incredible. They well, take care of you here. And the, the instructors even openly say it. They're just one big family. Glenn, yeah. For Glenn and, and PJ. All of their staff here, they're all one family, so that's how they treat their staff. And I'm the stepchild. Redhead. Redhead. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they treat me like they're family, but yet, yeah, they give me heck. Well, that's, that's what families do. I, but I will say, like, the instructors, like, you have a good time, you learn, but at the same time, you don't even realize that they are working your butt off. Like, Terrence, like, once... He, he doesn't let you stop until it's until it's staying near perfect. So it's it's a hundred percent worth it. So with that, we're gonna get going, get some dinner in us. So uh, I I realized Lindsay brought it up to my attention last night. I did not let Lindsay say her catchphrase during the live. I did get to say it today though for the first time. Going underwater, I got to say. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. <laughs> Keep diving, it's not where to stop. And embrace the chaos. See you guys.